Okay, so continuous integration passed and our application was deployed. So now we just gotta kinda take care of the send grid issue. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna remove this account. And as a reminder, this was set up through Heroku. So Heroku doesn't like own SendGrid or anything, but they make it easy to like automatically attach SendGrid to your application. And what really happens is behind the scenes, Heroku, I think just automatically generates an account with SendGrid and then it automatically attaches it to your account. And for whatever reason, that account didn't get authenticated by SendGrid, which meant I couldn't actually send any emails out, which is why we went back to using the Rails credentials and using my own personal account, which honestly might even be a better choice. So what I need to do here is actually remove this add-on. Um, remove that add-on. But now that just simply removes the add-on. It's not like it's gonna delete my personal account. But we wanna go ahead and do that so there's no conflict. The next thing I wanna do is go into my settings. And we wanna make sure everything that I added, or so we wanna make sure that send grid is no longer appearing as a environment variable. And I wanna make sure that I added a new environment variable that has my master key. So I'm gonna look at this real quick, but you won't, I'm gonna pause the video so you won't actually see this. Okay, so by deleting send grid, it also removed the old environment variables, which is good because we're no longer referring to those. So now I'm just gonna open up the app. And I think way back when I created an account, but I never received a confirmation email. So I'm gonna go to the sign in page and I'm gonna just say I didn't receive confirmation instructions and I'll put my email in. And this is the moment of truth. So hopefully if I click this, not only will there be no errors, but I should get an email. Okay, so that's good. And I actually have Honey Badger open here too, just to make sure we catch anything. So I'm gonna quickly check my inbox. Uh, I'll probably pause the video for that, but I should have something in my inbox. Cool, and actually I do. So we can see here, I got this email. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna click confirm my account. Awesome, so this is good. I actually forget what I sent my password to, um, but that's okay. So let's just do cpolito at a.com. I wonder if I just straight up did password. Okay, the password's wrong. But you know what, this could be a good way to test that. So let's just do, forget password. Let's put in my email. Awesome. Okay, and I have an email here um, to go ahead and reset my password. So this is good. I'm gonna click that. And let's go ahead and change that. Cool, so this is good. So we don't have any activities, um, which makes sense because this is a brand new account. Uh, let's go to my profile. Maybe I wanna, yeah, let's change this to my time zone. And you have to put my password in to do that. Cool, so this is good. Let's go, let's add an activity. Let's just test this thing out. So let's say I went for a run. Let's even add a shoe now too. So add a shoe, new balance, 890. Notify me when I hit 250 miles. Let's create that shoe. Awesome, it did it. So that's cool. Let's say I went for 10 miles. It took me an hour and 10 minutes. And fun run. Let's just see if the formatting works and create activity. Awesome, so this is good. And I know that seven minute pace would equal an hour and 10 for 10 miles. If I click edit, everything is persisted. If I click back, it goes back to this. If I go to the totals, you can see for this week, I've run 10 miles for an hour. Um, 
Let's check out the shoes. So view my shoes. Oh, yep, it's right here. And notify me if I hit 250 miles. So actually, let's do another test real quick. Let's go and make a new activity. We have 10 miles on this. Let's say I went for just a 300 mile run. Um, should get an email. So I should be emailed about this, right? Let me just double check that I actually have. Yeah, so I want to get notified. Let's create that activity. So this is good. And now if I go to my shoes, so this has 310 miles on it. And I wanted to get notified at 250. So hopefully, awesome. Look at this. So I got the email. So notifications at stridecatcher.com. Time to change your shoes. Your New Balance 890 has 310 miles on it. So this is perfect. This is good. We are in a good spot. Last thing I want to check is view my activities. I think I put email as something in the description. So yeah, this is cool. Reset. So we are in a good spot. So I think this app is up and running. It's good to go. And we'll catch you in the next one.